The answer, one of the answers, at least in JavaScript, JavaScript has multiple answers to this question, which we will explore in the end of the video. So stay tuned till that. But one of the answers in this question, how you can execute this condition is as follows. Do you believe you are one of those developers who can think out of the box? Let's find out in this video. This video has a very simple question in the title as well as in the content. That is, can ever A, which is a variable, be one, and a b2 and a b3 can this condition if i'm writing it inside of if block can this code ever run let's find out if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so obviously this video would not be very long if the answer for this question was no that's definitely not the answer. The answer for the question is yes. In fact, that is possible. But now the question is, how is this possible? Now, if I just give you the statement, this looks absurd, right? Because it's literally just saying that a variable has a lot of values simultaneously, right? Now, that is one way to look at this. Originally, let's say the question is meant for JavaScript, right? We know that JavaScript is a high level programming language, which means that this code right here gets compiled down to assembly or you know pretty much machine code later down the line right you're not writing in machine code directly so this means that this statement which you see right here when this is executed it is possible that it is executed in multiple steps this looks like that this is a single statement right and it is but when it is running on your cpu maybe the cpu checks this statement first then do something else then it checks this statement first. Next, then it do something else. Then finally it checks this statement. So the answer, one of the answers, at least in JavaScript, JavaScript has multiple answers to this question, which we will explore in the end of the video. So stay tuned till that. But one of the answers in this question, how you can execute this condition is as follows. The answer is that you make the variable A one and hope that CPU does something else in this time and meanwhile it does that it also executes some of your instruction which sets a to 2 right so this condition passed then this condition ran then somehow cpu evaluated the second part of the statement which was is a equal to 2 yep that is again true then hope that cpu does something else you know and it also executes a part of your code which is a equal to 3 then cpu again checks if a is equal to 3 and yes it is possible now this might look like some utter garbage but that is what exactly happens and that is something which you can make happen inside of a cpu when you are running a javascript code this however requires you to use multi-threading in javascript let's understand how that would ideally work so let's say you have your main process right here which i'm gonna label with m and then you have three workers worker one worker two and worker three and i'm assuming the browser's javascript execution context these workers right here you can think of as obviously different threads because they operate in different threads web workers you know in general workers now what you can do in javascript is you can share if this is your ram you can share a piece of memory with these workers using something known as shared array buffers so shared array buffers is a special region in the memory which is shared across all these workers right so worker one can read and write on it worker two can read and write on it and worker three can read and write on it now this is the problem the problem here now is that worker one two and three might execute and not really might but are executing as different threads and different threads in operating system means that context switching can happen. So this would actually lead to exactly this case. How? Let's say you have another worker which just checks this condition, right? It just checks this condition with a shared array buffer with this segment of memory being accessed by this, 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 and this for checking, right? Now this worker is executing, right now it's in the executing mode. So it's check if A is equal to one. And let's assume that A starts with one. Awesome. Now what we are doing in these three workers is that we are randomly assigning a value between one, two, and three to this shared array memory, right? Which is the shared memory with worker four. Now what would happen is somewhere down the line, I mean, if you just put this condition check 
in a while loop while this is not true just keep on executing somewhere down the line your cpu would hit this exact combination right it might be very soon it might be very very late but it will happen for example the answer which i did which is the exact answer i did on stack overflow a few years back in that answer when i was using my macbook air it happened after like a billion iterations so if this was in a while loop on my macbook air this condition was met after one billion iterations ran right after one billion checks ran then there was one possibility that this bug would arrive right on the second run it was two billion and you get the idea i mean this is kind of like a one in a billion coincidence but this could happen now of course if you make this more complex the probability of hitting that decreases exponentially because you need your cpu to be executing a certain number of steps in that specific order for that bug to hit right for that if condition to hit but again the odds would probably never go zero right because you can always always when you're manipulating the memory like this cause these race conditions if you want to check the proof of concept for this behavior you can see on the screen the code from my stack overflow answer i'll also include a link in the description but what this does is that it creates just like we discussed three workers three separate threads execute it and waits for that condition to hit now there were a lot of javascript specific answers to this question inside stack overflow but this one answer is kind of javascript non-specific right because most languages if not all include some sort of support for threads with shared memory right if it is threading then there is most likely shared memory support as well so yep as long as a language has that you can probably perform this attack vector there as well but with javascript you can get away with some neat tricks as well if you take a look at some of the solutions where they just play with the white spacing and invisible white space characters you could pretty much create three different variables which look like a but are actually three different ones, right? And then obviously you can hit this condition, but that's that's really a boring answer. This one is much more fun and lets us understand how real world race conditions can even happen in code bases and hit conditions, which are impossible to hit, right? So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like to the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I'll be adding a lot of new content daily on this channel. So if you want to stay fresh as a developer, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video really soon.